How's it going everyone? 8-Bit Kevin here and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the uh, Shanks Anime Heroes figure from Bandai Namco. Uh, like I mentioned previously in the Chopper video that uh, I was going to go back and review Ace and Shanks. Well I reviewed Ace already if you watched that video, if not check it out. And now I'm in reviewing Shanks. So uh, Shanks here. Uh, these figures MSRP at $19.99 about $20 so if you see in the aftermarket again for higher please don't buy that just th these are supposed to be very affordable figures um, but yeah let's take a look at the box so at the top left we got the one piece logo as usual we got uh, Shanks here on the left side of the front of the box anime heroes and Shanks' name we got Shanks here again our uh, figures so far minus chopper uh, Luffy Zoro Sanji Ace and Shanks and my heroes on the side and my heroes on the top and there's all, all this other information in the bottom all right uh, let's free him and then uh, check out what he's got going on so we got our exacto knife here cut that open Oh, that, that opened up pretty easily. Let's take him out of the box now. Alright, let's see what he's got going on. So, it looks like so far we got uh, obviously Shanks in the middle. Then we got his sword and a sheath version, version of his sword. So I guess like Zoro, you have options of whether or not you want him to hold the sword. Or if you want him to have it sheathed for display. So you're gonna have some uh, pieces lying around or just in the box still. We got a pointed finger here and then we got two other hands. For a second there, I totally forgot that Shanks only has one arm. So I was wondering <laughs> why we only had right hands, but this is why. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, okay, let's take them out. And uh, ooh, this one looks like it'll be interesting. Oh, okay, so his whole jacket is kind of back here. Right, let's kind of just pop out his legs first. We'll slide him out. Okay, there we go. All right, let's check out our main figure here. So we got Shanks. Let's look at his face. His paint job is pretty good. Look at that stubble going on for him. And got those three scars given by Blackbeard, presumably. I believe, I actually believe that's what it says in the story. I don't remember off the top of my head. His obvious iconic red hair. We got his uh, jacket here. So it's kind of that same material as Luffy's uh, sash and Zoro's, I believe his jacket as well. Uh, his pants and his <laughs> look at his leg hair it's kind of funny then his feet all right so let's look at the articulation so he's got articulation in his head not necessarily in the neck we got articulation at the shoulder and where the bicep is and then a hinge here at the elbow and his hand the, the torso at the hip and then the legs and then we got a hinge here at the knee this can't twist like Luffy's leg which was kind of weird at the time and then uh, articulation here at the, the ankles so um, so far looking at it we got articulation here at the arms but it's kind of limited because of the jacket I mean oh there is okay so there is a joint here at the jacket to help uh with the articulation issue oh no can i put this back on because i was thinking that there'd be limited mobility if that was in the way so i guess that's not too much of a concern but it is a little difficult to put back on um so the arm does have some free uh, freedom of the movement 
So that's kind of cool, but it, it seems kind of odd now that I look at it that this is kind of a separate piece. I don't know how you could do that better, but from the front, it doesn't look like an issue. So if you're, if you have the figure facing front, you, you can't see that kind of separation from the rest of the jacket. So I guess it's not too, ba too bad, um, can't really tell, I guess right here, but that's not too bad. Can he stand on his own fairly well? He's got skinny legs like Luffy, so I don't know. Ooh, his jacket kind of weighs him down from the back. Okay, so that's okay. He can stand on his own. Um, I guess you don't really have to worry about his other arm. So it's kind of just connected. So that's kind of nice. Um, in terms of customization, uh, let's see. So we got two swords again. So um, let's see. Let's just slip for, for this video. Let's just slip his sword into his little sash here. It's kind of back there. How easy is this to get in? Okay, there we go. So does it get in the way? Okay, so the, there's a slit back here so that the sword can poke through. Um, that's kind of cool. So we got Shanks here with his sword kind of standard, standing awkwardly. Um, is it like Zoro's where you can take off? The yes, you can. All right, so you can take out the, the hilt of the sword so that if you were to give him this sword, it looks like he's unsheathed it. So that's pretty cool. And then I assume it will go into one of these hands over here. Um, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna spend my time trying to fight uh, getting this on. You know what? Scratch that. Let, let's, let's at least put it in. Let's at least put it in the closed can so that we can see how difficult and how easy it is to get in. So let's see. Ooh, how, how do you do this? I actually don't even know how to get this in here. Oh man, like I feel like I'm gonna break this. Is there no easy way to get this in here? Okay, so this is kind of a big con for me. They, they kind of made it really difficult to get the sword into the hand. So give me a second and let me see if I can figure it out. All right, so after a good amount of struggling, I was able to get the sword in here. All right, so it kind of looks like that. Uh, that's kind of a big con for me that they made it very difficult to get this sword in here. And now that I really look at it, this sword kind of looks lame. It's really it's it's flimsy. I mean, I don't I don't really know what else you can do with it, but you could they could have just reinforced it in some way. But it looks extremely flimsy. They could have put like I don't know some sort of metal in here or something to. To, to keep it straight, um, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna keep the sword sheath. I'm not really a big fan of this. Um, we don't know a lot about Shanks in the series, to be honest. So I don't know how to customize this customize this figure otherwise. Um, this is all. This is really it. Um, I mean, I, I don't know what else to offer for Shanks. Could have given him a straw hat too, because you know he used to have the straw hat. Um, pros for this figure, uh, again, the detail's great. I mean, they even have his leg hairs. The scar looks great, his facial hair looks great. Uh, I like that they did this thing with Zoro 
similar to Zoro where you can take the hilt off if you wanted him to hold the sword so it looks like it's uh you know unsheathed <clears throat> cons wise uh I really don't know what else you could do with him like so I guess cons wise the 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 hand with the sword very difficult to to put this in here it took me a a bit of struggling to get this in here I thought I was gonna damage the hand uh, trying to force the sword in there so maybe I don't know something else would have been better uh, the sword itself is a little lame it's, it's flimsy the uh, jacket I don't really like that it's a whole separate piece but I guess it can't be helped if uh, you want his arm to move and then uh, I don't know yeah I guess that's really it for cons like uh again for twenty dollars these figures uh are pretty good though i w i still wish that there's more customization with them in the sense that we could swap out the faces or the head like chopper chopper was great chopper had so much customization options for him um this one again very limited like we i guess through the story that he's very limited wish we could do something else wish we saw um shanks actually use hockey because that'd be cool if um if we can improve it in the sense that how I said with Luffy that we could give him like black arms or something to, to show that he's using hockey. Um, not much else we can do, but uh, yeah, that's it for Shanks. I, I think, in my opinion, if I were to rate him amongst all the other One Piece anime figures, he's kind of in the middle. I still think that uh, Chopper's probably the best one. Uh, Zoro, I think, would be maybe like the second or third uh sanji probably zoro and sanji are probably tied second and third uh luffy and shanks kind of are tied together they're both kind of limited in what they can really show uh and then dead last being ace because they just seem very lazy so that's where i'm kind of ranking them right now um if you have any ways that you can improve this figure um, if you like this figure, if you love it, tell me what you love about it. Tell me what you don't like about it uh, down in the comments below and I'll read it and check it out. Um, but thanks for stopping by and watching this unboxing and review and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!